Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. This was recorded post-adventure because I forgot to record an introduction pre-adventure, but in this episode we ventured out to the Virgin Mountains to go rock hounding for some semi-precious gems such as tourmaline, garnet, and some other ones. You're going to want to watch this one. Let's go. The Virgin Mountains are a mountain range located south and east of Mesquite, Nevada, straddling the Nevada-Arizona border. About a fourth of them are in Nevada and three-fourths of them are in Arizona. And if you've ever driven to Utah from Las Vegas, you've driven through the Virgin Mountains. That gorge that you go through on the I-15 is the Virgin River Gorge, cuts right through the mountains. Now the Virgin Mountains are of particular interest geologically for two main reasons. The first reason being that they're the transition zone between the Basin and Range and the Colorado Plateau, two major geologic provinces of the western United States. And the second reason, which is the reason that we're more concerned with when it comes to rock hounding, is that there are several outcrops of Precambrian granite pegmatites containing a litany of semi-precious gemstones, such as beryl, chrysoberyl, tourmaline, and garnet, as well as huge crystals of muscovite, quartz, and feldspar. So enough chit-chat, y'all. Let's go and see what we can find out there in the Virgin Mountains. Let's go. The place that we rock hounded at out there was in the foothills of the Virgin Mountains. Uh, I just looked up an old USGS report and just kind of tried to guess where it was. If you're looking for the name of a specific mountain, I couldn't give it to you because they're not even named out there. We just kind of followed this dirt road up into the hills west of the main road. One of the mountains looked like this that we went to, and we dubbed it Chad Mountain as a joke, kind of. But it's located in a place called Limekiln Canyon. And to get there, take I-15 North to exit 120 in Mesquite, Falcon Ridge Parkway. Uh, take that to Riverside Road, turn right, cross the Virgin River, and turn left at the first road to your left after crossing the river. It'll be a paved road for the first mile or so, then it'll be a dirt road after that. But any high clearance vehicle can make it. You don't need a 4x4 Jeep or anything. Park at the foot of the mountains, and you can rock hound west of the main road. All right, y'all, so we're out here in the Virgin Mountains. We're going to go uh, rock hounding for some barrel, chryso barrel, tourmaline, and garnet and also some huge muscovite crystals is what I'm told. There's a granite pegmatite deposit out here. We're gonna go check it out. Let's go. Look at this one, that shiny, that brilliant silvery metallic looking crystal. That's a muscovite phenocryst. And the black, that's all tourmaline. So uh, we got some nice crystals out here so far and we're not even at the pegmatite deposit yet. We're just downstream of it. Let's go, let's go Let up and see, see what we got. And y'all out here in the Virgin Mountains, it's just absolute gorgeous scenery. Look at that. We're in a place called Limekiln Canyon. The solitude of this place is like, wow. We are like way out in the boonies, guys. And I mean that. I mean way out in the boonies. So the destination is up there a bit. Let's go for it. If you look over here, there's a bunch of abandoned uh, equipment out here. They abandoned and now it's out here on BLM land. So rock hounders paradise. It is so freaking beautiful out here, guys. Technically we're in Mojave County, Arizona. It's about less than a mile from the Nevada border in the Virgin Mountains. But looking over there, the high point right there, right there is Mount Bangs. That's Chad Mountain. It's not officially called that, but we're naming it Chad Mountain because you know, Virgin Chad. Yeah. So up to Chad Mountain we go. Well guys, we were just going through the wash and we stumbled upon this. That is a massive garnet. That is just one crystal of garnet. And look at how big that is. That's like an inch and a half long, like an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And that's just one crystal of garnet. Oh my God. Here, I'll move the branch so that you can see that. That is a single crystal of garnet. That's absolutely huge. Here's a Nice little specimen right here, that black that you see right there. Commonly mistaken as hornblende, but that's actually black tourmaline. You can tell because the crystal has a different shape and it also doesn't have that 60, 120 degree cleavage that hornblende does. And uh, what makes that difficult is that hornblende is a common uh, mineral in granites, um, a common constituent of granite. And most of the time when you see rock that looks like this, it is hornblende, but this, my friends, is tourmaline. And tourmaline is rarer than hornblende, so pretty cool. There's more of that tourmaline, y'all. That black mineral tourmaline. 
And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we are really out in the boonies, really just bushwhacking. There's some cows over there. You see them? There's a calf too. Yeah. They're running away from us. So, uh, yeah, when you're out here exploring, guys, rock hounding, stay away from the cows. Especially their children. There's another one right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's one down there. It's just, uh, yeah, you want to stay alive. There's the brown one over there going away. And uh, there they are up there on the ridge. So we are going to leave them be and be glad that we didn't come face to face with them. And when you guys come up here to go rock hounding, you want to be careful around these bends in the road because the cows like to hang out here since it's a uh, stable ground. All roads lead to Rome, right? Or is it that all roads lead to nice granite pigmentite veins? There is a gorgeous one. Oh my God, let me zoom in. Yeah, you can see the vein, the white right there. That's the vein. Let's go check it out, see what we can find. Look at these sheets of muscovite and this pigmentite here. I mean, wow. <laughs> Damn. We've got some well-defined garnets here, so you guys can see. Approaching it, so you guys can see. Look at all these nice garnets here in this granite. I'm bleeding because I fell. Nice tourmaline right there. Here's one of those pegmatite veins just cut in the side of the mountain. Oh my God. Take a look here. Some sizable garnets. Very nice, look at that. All quartz. There's Ubed just sitting on a gigantic slab of straight up muscovite. Making my way further up the mountain. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but all these rocks right here are just straight up, just muscovite. Just giant, giant crystals, tabs of muscovite. So, damn. We're gonna go up a little bit further. Caught all the way up here and uh, seems like the best Deposits and veins are down there. Taking this cattle trail down. Thanks for blazing the trail for me, cows. Moo! Here's some outcropping of that pigmentite dike up here at the top of the hill. Let's see what that has in store for us. I'll tell you what those blacks are. Those are some really, really nice euhedral tourmaline crystals. Very well defined. I mean, they're huge too. Like, look at this. Slightly buried by some of the quartz, but that's like as long as my finger. More of that there. I mean, wow. Gorgeous. Awesome. Amazing. More of that tourmaline here. Right there. Nice one. Just really cool. Really cool. Some more big tourmaline. That's, let's get me with the sun. That is a really big one. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but that uh, pegmatite runs from all the way up here, down there, and down to the other side of the little gulch. So, uh, haven't found barrel yet, but maybe we'll find some. Speak of the devil, these are some nice fine-grained crystal barrel crystals. Crystal barrel, the green, fine-grained beryllium. Yeah. Yeah, right here is just testament to what I was saying. Very rich in garnet and tourmaline this area is. No cap, guys. This is just all straight up muscovite. Look at that. It's just a gigantic crystal. It's just a gigantic muscovite crystal, guys. When I tell you this is a freaking granite pegmatite, this is a freaking pegmatite, guys. We've got so much phenocrysts here. If y'all want to see our loot, be sure to stay tuned. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, going through our loot. So this is a really nice specimen of granite pegmatite that really shows that mineral growth. We've got garnet and muscovite as the two main minerals in this specimen. This is another example of a pegmatite with really nice mineral growth. We've got tourmaline, quartz, and muscovite as uh, labeled here. So this one's a really nice, well-defined specimen of tourmaline located in this matrix, which is just the host rock that isn't the mineral. 
And tourmaline is a boron cyclosilicate mineral. It's a semi-precious gemstone, and this particular one, the black one, is the Shoral variety, or the iron end member. And here's another specimen, mainly quartz and tourmaline. Another note on tourmaline is chemically, it's one of the most complex minerals out there, as you saw with the chemical formula. But in this particular specimen, I have a surprise for y'all that I'm going to show you right now. Now I didn't notice it while I was out in the field rock hounding and I'm glad that I took this piece home because I didn't notice it until I was looking at it in the sun in my backyard this morning and I really had to take the hand lens out. But that surprise is barrel. Now this is a nice specimen of green barrel and even though the name barrel may sound unfamiliar to you, chances are you've heard of it. If you've heard of emerald or aquamarine, you've heard of barrel. Those are two types of barrels that are precious gemstones, really worth a lot. So this is a good find. And this is another look at that barrel specimen under the hand lens, and that's the chemical formula for barrel. So all in all, guys, really cool find. And this is perthite. It's an intergrowth of both potassium and sodium feldspars, and it's actually pretty rare, so it's a cool find as well. And lastly, we found some lapidolite, which is a lithium-bearing muscovite, basically. It's not, you know... Um, exactly the same as muscovite, but they're both phyllosilicates, both sheet silicates, they're both micas. So lipidolite is just very lithium bearing and rich. It's interesting to me that this granite pegmatite has um, lithium, beryllium, and boron in it, elements 3, 4, and 5 respectively, especially considering how those three elements are some of the rarest in the universe. I think that's really cool. I cannot get over how gorgeous the scenery out of here is, y'all. Look at that. The Virgin Mountains, a really nice kept secret around Las Vegas. And over there on the other side of Lime Kiln Canyon, there's not really a name for that mountain, so I'm just going to call it Lime Kiln Butte. It's really gorgeous, really prominent, visible from Mesquite and I-15. Over there we've got Mount Bangs, the high point of the Virgin Mountains at 8,012 feet. Way in the distance is the Pine Valley Mountains in Utah. And in front of them, north of the Virgins, is the Beaver Dam Mountains also in Utah. We pan over, we're looking into Nevada, into Mesquite, and the Sawmill Mountains up in Lincoln County. So all in all, just amazing views. Making our way back down to the car. Oh yeah! We are out here in the wild, out here in the boonies. This is a quintessential example of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Cue the wind! All right, y'all, so that was the uh, Chad Mountain Pegmatite, as we've dubbed it, out here in the Virgin Mountains. We are way out here in the boonies, guys, but this is a gorgeous place. I highly recommend it. So uh, if you want a rock hound, this is a great place to do it. We're only an hour and a half from Vegas, out near Mesquite. So 100% uh, recommend this place. It's really wild. Um, it's really out in the boonies, as I said earlier, remote. But uh, totally worth it, guys. So thanks for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. And of course, peace.